So I've got a SCL two, uh, 1000 Kubota. Uh, it's a really new machine, probably 2023, 20, 2022, something like that. Uh, only has like a hundred something hours on it, I think. But it, I got a call because it's a crank, no start. And uh, here we are up on a hill, not accessible for a truck or a trailer or anything like that. Um, this is just a walking path, really. So I came out, I looked at it. First thing I checked was I turned the ignition on, which is up here. And I saw that the I could not hear the fuel solenoid clicking which is fuel shut off, right? That retracts, goes click. And then when you turn the key off, it goes out and it goes bang and then it just shuts off, right? So uh, I pulled, open this guy up, which don't quote me on this right here because I think it's, you pull this cable here. And so one of these opens the rest and then you pull this and it opens another cover and then you reach in here and flip a lever, which is I think this guy, to open this, and then there's your fuse box right there. That empty slot right there is a stop solenoid, 30 amp fuse. It was blown, I put another one in, it instantly blew. So I said, okay, that's gonna be a fuel solenoid. So what you have to do here is, that guy just flops down and then lifts off, off these studs. They're just the hooks, right? Um, then I've got this cover, it looks like it's standard, so it'd be 3 8 socket. There's three bolts on the bottom. This shroud came out. This has four bolts on the side. One, two, three, four, and you get the nuts from the outside, so that's going to be a wrench. That's going to be a socket. Then you take your uh, big socket, which is, I think, uh, 19 or 3 quarter, and you're going to take these big carriage, these, uh, carriage bolts out. Not carriage bolts, but... Um, fender bolts carriage bolts anyway so you take those out one two three four and you pull this whole thing forward and this hose is all curled up so you're not going to be able to get a lot of clearance here but you could take this little hole off this cover off this whole hole right and um what you'll end up doing is i got in here with my hand and i took the radiator fan bolts loose and i just laid it in there so it's going to be a bitch putting that back together but um, because the fan belt's still on, it's still tension on that pulley. Theoretically, those holes should all still line up real easy. So I'll get them all started by hand and then reef them down with my 90 degree, which is right over somewhere. I think it's under the machine because I did a skid plate. Uh, and then you're going to have a Allen, which it looks like is a, I think this is a six. This is a five, five mil Allen. And you'll go through the top here and there you go so there's the old one here's the new one there is also a bracket right here that those that little has two two bolts which is um these little guys one two through the top and now i'm going to put it all back together and <laughs> get this damn thing running but man this kind of sucked to get at, get at but it could be worse i guess um if this hose wasn't curled up, but unfortunately I can't take this hose off to get more clearance because one, I'd unload a bunch of hydraulic oil and two, yeah, I'd just spill hydraulic oil everywhere and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to pull this as much as I can forward, get this new guy weaved in there. Um, so basically if you wanted to know, this is your part number SA5156. Twelve volt four one two four. This is uh, what came out of the machine. That one actually says something different for some reason. And SA five one five six. So it's the same. Um, so what happens is when you charge this thing, you've got three pins: ground, pull, and hold. You got ground and pull, which will pull this back, and then it releases power, but also at the same time activates the next pin, which is hold. So the first magnet will demagnetize, the second magnet will hold it, and then when you let go of power, it goes out and kills the injection pump. All it's doing is it's pushing the rack back forward, which is in the kill position. So I'm gonna get this back together.